Business news. An Italian court in Milan has acquitted ENI and Royal Dutch Shell in the oil industry's biggest corruption trial. The case centers around the purchase of a Nigerian oil field by ENI and Royal Dutch Shell for $1.3 billion about 10 years ago. After more than three years of proceedings and 74 hearings, judges withdrew to their chambers on Wednesday to consider their verdict, said Marco Tremadada, who heads the panel of judges. Prosecutors have called for ENI and Shell to be fined for a number of, of past and present managers from both companies, including ENI Chief Executive Claudio Descalzi, to be jailed. For more on business news, let's join Osarege Oboe for more updates. And now in business, Nigeria has recorded its biggest foreign trade deficit since 1981, as the trade balance stood at a deficit of 7.38 trillion naira in 2020. This is according to available data obtained from the Ni National Bureau of Statistics, NBS. According to the recent foreign trade report, total imports in the year 2020 was valued at 19.9 .9 trillion naira, surpassing the to uh, total exports of 12.92 uh, trillion naira, indicating a trade deficit of 7.38 trillion naira. This is the second time Nigeria is recording a negative trade balance in the past 10 years. In 2016, during a similar recession as the one recorded last year, uh, Nigeria recorded a negative trade balance of 290.1 billion naira, owing to an 11.1% decline in the value of exports. However, the current trade deficit is more than 25 times higher than that recorded in 2016. Governor Udom Emanuel of Akwaibom State has disclosed that the proposed fertilizer plant in the state would go up a whopping $1.4 billion and engage 7,000 youths. The governor recently signed a memorandum of understanding at uh, Morocco for the commencement of the projects. The governor dropped the hints at the state, state executive uh, meeting, stating that the youths would be sourced locally. He appealed to the host communities of these projects to welcome development instead of stifling the execution of the projects. This is contained in a statement by the Commissioner for Information and Strategy, Comrade Inyobong Ememobong, Memo Bong noted that the council approved the remodeling of the Ibom Plaza proposal presented by the Commissioner for Culture and Tourism and the proposed changes and, of course, the economic impact that was uh, consummatant. And, of course, uh, Uber drivers in Britain would receive the minimum wage the whole time they are logged onto the app. Two former drivers said on Wednesday after winning a court battle which could reshape the gig economy. Following a UK Supreme Court defeat last month, the Silicon Valley-based company reclassified its more than 70,000 drivers in Britain as workers, meaning their guaranteed entitlements such as holiday pay. Uber said drivers will be at least 15% better off if they opt into the pension plan. On a minimum wage, which stands at £8.72, which is equivalent of $12.13 per hour, for those aged 25 and over, Uber said it would apply after accepting a trip request and after expenses and that on average drivers can earn an hourly £17 in London. Drivers will not receive it while waiting for a passenger request, which can account for as much as a third of the time drivers are behind the wheel with the app turned on, according to several U.S. studies. And Wall Street's main indexes opened lower on Wednesday as U.S. bond yields spiked ahead of the Federal Reserve's policy statement, which could provide hints on whether the central bank would raise interest rates sooner than expected. The Dow Jones Industrial Average fell 0.4 points at the open to 32,825.52. The S&P 500 fell 13.1 points or 0.33%. At the open to 39,000 or 3,949.57, while the Nasdaq Composite dropped 134.7 points or 1.00 percent to 13,336.915 at the opening bell. And that's all in business. I am Osao Gie Ogbon. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.